Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today, guys, we're having a look at how Harry Redknapp, him off I'm a Celebrity, how he would get on as West Ham manager in an FM19 experiment. Alright guys, we're back. Let's see how old Harry Redknapp got on in his first year back at West Ham United. Is he still going to be there? Is he going to be somewhere else? I don't know. Let's find out now. And so, Harry Redknapp. And, oh, okay. He's not anywhere. And in fact, he's retired. Okay. So, did he see out that first year? Did he see out the whole season? I don't know. Let's go click on here. And let's go first see how we did in the league. If we go stages and then, yep, 13th, we finished in the table. About mid-table, little bit disappointing. I think that's what I'd say. I think most West Ham fans are hoping for a top 10 this year with the money we've spent on the likes of Anderson and Yarmolenko and having Arnie and Chicharito up top. We maybe should be doing a little bit better than 13th, but okay. Let's have a look at Harry Redknapp's transfers. And in fact, the only guy he brought in in his summer in charge was Nolito on loan from Seville, who's a left winger for Seville. 32 years, years old now, Spanish. Decent little player. Maybe hasn't got the pace you would want for a winger anymore. But he looks okay. Let's see how he got on for us. He played 26 games. Scored three, set up three, and got an average rating of 6.75. Not really much to say about that, is there? Not the best performances you're ever going to get out of a winger. So let's go at, see who he's got next. Bastian Toma, not somebody I'm familiar with. If you're familiar with these guys, let me know down below. Bastian Toma is a defensive midfielder, 20 years old now, Swiss. Valued at 12 million. Harry paid, what was it, 10 million? Yeah, 10.75 going up to 16 million. He looks decent. He could be good in a few years. He's still only young, 20 years old. So it could be interesting to see where he goes from there. And so let's see how he got on. He only played 10 games, having joined in January. He assisted one goal, got one man of the match, and got an average rating of 6.98. Again, not really setting the world alight, but he's 20 years old. He's won more for the future. And so the next one up is Emmanuel Gigliotti. I'm going to go with that. That's what I'm thinking. And he is a 32-year-old Argentinian striker. Valued at 14 million. How much did Harry pay? 7 million. Going up to 10. That's not a bad bit of business there, if you can get it. And so, let's see... How he got on. Did he score many? Uh, played 14 games. Again, have enjoyed in January. Only scored three. Got one assist. No man in the matches. And a 6.85. I'm going to say that's not the best. I'd be disappointed. I'll be disappointed if I was Ari with, with that. And next one up is Gotaku Sakai. I've probably just butchered that. He is... Someone who can play pretty much anywhere. But mainly on the right fullback role. He's Japanese. He's valued now at 12.75. Harry paid 5.25. He's 28 years old. And uh, how did he get on? Uh, 12 games, 1 assist, 6.94. Decent, maybe his first full season in the, in the Premier League. He'll get more up to speed. Next up is a guy who I know and who all West Ham fans know, Victor Moses. We had him on loan a couple of years ago, but Harry's gone and bought him on deadline day for 9.5 million. He's now valued at 17 and a half. So that's a very nice bit of business there from Harry. And yet we all remember him from his year he had with us. I remember him mostly for his thunderbolt of a goal to beat Manchester City up at their place. What a performance that was from him. I always did like him. I would like it if he would come back. 
because we need a better pace at right back when Zabaleta leaves. And so that's a very good bit of business from Harry. And how did Moses get on? Only two games. Okay, after I've been bigging him up, he only played twice, and he, but he did get an average rating of 6.95. Has he had any injuries? Is that why he's not played much? No. no. Okay, just Harry's just not fancied him. Okay, that's a weird one. And let's see about players going out. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I've just seen one I'm not happy about at all. Harry, what are you doing to me, man? That's me man crush you've sold. Oh, oh no. He sold Lanzini for, what is it? A pittance, 19 million. He's now valued at 22 million. Oh, CJ, you must be loving this. Oh, let's go history. He played 10 games in the black and white. Didn't score, didn't assist, didn't do anything because he's homesick. He wants to come back to West Ham. He got an average rating of 6.78. Oh, I'm not happy with that one, Harry. And who else has left the club? Antonio left the club to join my FM League team, Huddersfield. He joined them on loan. Let's see how he got on for them. That might explain why he brought in Victor Moses. Mikel Antonio played 35 games for Huddersfield, getting four goals, one assist, one man a match at 6.82, which for a loan fee of 1.7 million. You can't go wrong for that, can you? And also as well, he sold Winston Reid to Gion Book. Where are they from? They're, he's from Korea. Uh, he's, he's playing in Korea now. Okay, whatever makes him happy. Alongside John O'Shea and Mum Hey Juf. Okay, that's interesting in itself. And then Winston Reid, let's see how he did over in Korea. He played 11 games, having left in January. Made 11 appearances. Scored two goals, got one assist, got an average rating of 7.45. He did really well over there, as you would expect. The only other one I want to have a look at is our new young sensation, Grady Giangana. 21 years old. He's been in the team in real life in the last few weeks, and he has impressed. So let's see how he got on on his loan deal at Preston. 34 games, 7 appearances, 2 assists. Three player of the matches and an average rating of 6.8. Okay, so that's all the transfers done. Let's see what sort of results, what sort of runs Harry went on with the club. Let's go there. No, 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 we want schedule, don't we? Schedule senior squad last year. And so, let's get rid of friendlies. Let's get rid of everything else first, apart from the league. Ah, da, 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 Premier Division. That's all I want. Okay, so why is that not all competitions, Premier Division? Why is that not updating? Have I got to do that? No? Okay. Well. Okay, so we're just going to look at all these as it is anyway then, I suppose. So, uh, we started off this season with a fantastic result. A 2-1 win at home against Liverpool. Who got the goals in that? Lucas and Nolito on his debut. That's nice to see. Followed up with a win against Cardiff. And in the cup, we beat his old team, Birmingham, on penalties. And then beat Southampton in the third round. But then got knocked out of that competition in the fourth round. So par for the course for us in the cups. Let's hope we did better in the FA Cup. We lost to Arsenal. Uh, beat Huddersfield. Beat Leicester in the league. Lost to United. Got spanked by United 4-1. Lukaku doing what Lukaku does. Loving to score against us. But then we got a 3-0 win against Palace. That's nice to see. But then December was an awful month. We went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 games without a win. Wow. But then we got it back against Brighton. And then in the cup... We beat Peterborough 4-0, in, in, which is a very nice result. But then we drew against Derby, against Frank Lampard's Derby. I'm assuming Lampard's still there. And so we drew against them in the FA Cup fourth round, but then beat them away at their place 3-0. 
and then went to the fifth round and beat Sheffield United. And then Man United, we lost to them in the sixth round of the cup. So that ended that. And that was a miserable march. Look at that. Chelsea lost to them. United lost to them. Palace didn't beat them. United again lost in the cup. City lost to them. So that was a terrible month. In fact, our last win of the season came at the beginning of April. So no wonder we finished 13th. Just couldn't get any sort of momentum going, it seems, at any point. So let's see uh, when Harry got sacked or if he just retired. Managers. Harry Redknapp, yeah, he retired at the end of the season. And so, yeah, 13th in the table. Got brought in a few decent players, built for the future, and then retired. And so, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. For now, lads, as, oh, maybe not. Dean Smith as West Ham manager. Okay, that could be interesting. That could be interesting, but, okay. But anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it. For today, lads, hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM content, including my Met Police save and Pro Evo content. I'm about to record some more of that in a little bit. So there, there will be some of that going up at some point this week. So, yep, subscribe for all that. Follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. And only one thing left to say, I am Bad Jokes Gaming. I am out.